Hi, my name is John Gibbons and today we're going to do active release techniques for soft tissue release for the rectus femoris. The rectus femoris muscle originates from the anterior inferior iliac spine, comes down over quadricep muscles, Evo is one of them, comes down and inserts onto the tibial tuberosity, the patellar tendon and the quadricep tendon. When the rectus femoris is tight, it can affect the patellar femoral joint, it can also affect the movement of the hip and also if it's tight bilaterally, you will get an anterior tilt of the pelvis and that will give you back pain. So it's important that you are able to identify tightness within and then treat accordingly. To treat the rectus femoris, one of the ways you can do that is to place their leg over your leg and using a bit of wax, like a myofascial wax, apply a little bit over the rectus femoris. So you don't need too much on this cream. And then what we're going to do is the patient is going to start with the leg in extension and then she is slowly going to flex so the patient is going to actively contract the hamstrings which then induces relaxation into the quadricep. So first of all what you can do is like a, a warm up technique is using the palmar surface of the hand is literally just from the insertion is work towards the origin as the patient slowly bends the knee. And then you can work nice and slowly up towards the origin. Yeah, three or four times. And again, watch actually the hand positioning. So as I come up towards the origin, I can glide my fingers. So the heel of the hand is doing the work, so I can lift my hand, so I can work through. And I can do that three or four or five times, just to slowly start to encourage lengthening of the rectus femoris. Feel okay? Yeah. yeah. When you feel you want to use a little bit more pressure, same technique. And what you can do now is three fingers, reinforce the three fingers, and then nicely contact the skin, and then slowly apply pressure as the patient starts to flex the knee. That's good pressure, not too tender. As they get to a point where they can't go any further, I can ease off, the patient can ease off. And then I can slowly start to work through the belly of the rectus femoris. Like so. And then he's off, and then you can repeat three or four times. Start towards the insertion, and then gradually start to work through the tendon into the belly of the rectus as they bend the knee. From this position, you can also access the IT band. The IT band obviously connects to the lateralis, and if you were to hold the IT band, sometimes it can get a bit sticky between the superior and the band and the inferior aspects. So by applying your thumb directly above the IT band, if you slowly bend the knee, you can decrease the tension on the superior aspect of the band as the patient flexes the knee. Normally a little tender this one, dependent. Tender there. Working through. And I can also do the same on the inferior aspect of the band. So I can come under the band, lock under, and I can work inferiorly like so. Onto the band in itself, so using a flat thumb, reinforce, or using the back of the hand, locking in, and then when you're ready, just bend the knee. And I can just work through the IT band, like so. Another way of treating the IT band from this position is passively allow the leg to drop into adduction, and then you can use the palm. And then from this position, you can apply a wide area of pressure, working through okay. the IT band, like so. Tightness there, I'm working through. Start again, and I can work through. It tends to be tender around the, the central part where the bulk of the lateralis is located. And we're coming through there. Uh, okay.
Okay, good.